Clone Robotics just stirred up some controversy with some bold claims. Here's how it started. Elon Musk recently said that the Tesla Optimus hand is so sophisticated it makes a Fabergé egg seem simple. The Poland-based humanoid robotics startup Clone Robotics responded with some extraordinary claims. They said Clone's hand has the same number of degrees of freedom as Optimus, but it is lighter because it uses no metal. It is stronger thanks to their proprietary artificial muscles. It is much cheaper to make and softer since it doesn't rely on hard materials. These claims aren't beyond the realm of possibility. Clone has already shown demos of its robotic hand catching a ball and lifting weights. So it's real and functional to an extent. But what we haven't seen yet is the hand performing dexterous tasks, like picking up delicate objects, moving heavy items, or completing a real world task. What makes Clone's hands so exciting is their unique approach to actuation. Most robotic hands rely on either direct drive motors in the joints or tendon-driven mechanisms, like the ones used by Tesla and One X. Clone's artificial muscles work on the same principle as McKibben muscles, a design where a flexible tube inside a braided sleeve expands and contracts with changes in air pressure. Clone, however, is using hydraulics instead of air pressure. But here's the big question. Can this technology actually work in a viable product? No one has yet proven that these artificial muscles are durable enough for long-term use, and there are concerns about the reliability of hydraulic valves. So, can Clone Robotics really turn this into a game-changing product? Let me know what you think in the comments.